In the last few years, the citrus industry has really taken off here in Georgia due to our great climate for growing citrus and due to the crop's potential here in the state. Lindy Savelle is one of those producers that saw the crop's potential four years ago and started a citrus grove called Joe Nina Farm in Thomas County. When I retired from my previous career, my husband and I knew we'd be moving back to these two small farms that we have in South Georgia, and we wanted to do something with them. We wanted to kind of bring them back to life. They'd, they'd been sitting here idle for several years, so we researched. We went to different conferences, everything from, you know, blueberries, olives, strawberries, pecans, and we just kind of landed on citrus and felt like that was a good fit for our small farm and what we wanted to do with it. We wanted to bring it back to life, our farms, and use the commodity that we were growing to, to do a give back for our state. One thing they found out though, is that growing citrus is not a walk in the park. In fact, it's a lot of work. One acre of citrus is like 100 acres of a row crop. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of manual work. Um, citrus you have to harvest by hand and the initial years when the trees are small there's a lot of hands-on maintenance to them as well and of course you have to freeze protect citrus here in Georgia because we do have freezing temperatures occasionally so you've you've got to be prepared to do some of that hands-on work that you might not do with other traditional row crops. And just like every other commodity Growing citrus doesn't come without some challenges. Some of the challenges right away are having access to good quality trees, um, but Georgia has, has about five nurseries now that are producing trees in the states for our growers, so that's the first thing. And then, of course, you know, 70% of Florida's market's been, been devastated by citrus greening. So we are very hopeful that in Georgia, in our commercial groves, that we don't get citrus greening, and if we do, that there will be a cure or at least something we can do to prevent the devastation that, that Florida and other states have experienced. Just like most fruit producing trees, it can take a few years to produce a good quality crop. The Savales have found that out this year, with their crop being more than double what it was last year. So one of the things that we've seen is a, is a huge change in our trees and in our fruit between years three and years four. So last year we said, well, you know, the trees look, look healthy enough. We can perhaps go to production, and we did. Produce about 40 pounds of fruit per tree. This year, oh boy, I mean, we've, we've gotten 100 plus pounds of fruit per tree. Most of it is really good. And um, people told us, you know, it would take to that about that fourth year for trees and the fruit to be ready for production in Satsumas. And that's been proven to us this year. Reporting in Thomas County for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.